Alright, I gotta be fast and succinct because... Boy, this is a hard game to make a video with because things happen so quickly. I keep getting roped into side quests. <laughs> I tried making a video and then I ended up as a movie producer. So, okay. Getting creative with... I want these guys to fight me. Okay. Switch. This is what I'm talking about. Clearly a game like this designed for a controller, but I want to try to get away from depending on those face buttons so much. And I noticed when you're fighting, you don't really need to be moving the camera too much. So I turned the entire right pad into the face buttons, but you still have camera control with gyro mouse-like joystick. So like right now, you know, I have this or gyro. When I switch to this fight, fight set, Gyro's always on, so I can still move around. And then I can tap. Tap the face buttons. If I click, then it's a turbo of each button. You know, so if we just make radial menu, four buttons, and then do the mode shift with four buttons, you can see these are uh, it's turbo for the clicks. You know, the, the spacing of all of it, though, it lines up. So the radio menu is always... I could... I could make that... Transparent if I wanted to. I kind of like having it up on the screen. In the normal set, I also have... The same, uh... The mode shift clicks. On the default set, they're all turbos. So let's, uh... Let's try to find another little fight. That feels pretty nice. And I just, it's mainly just about, you know, thinking about it in a different way, trying something a little different that fits with the game. So yeah, a dig it works out pretty well. And that's just a little, uh, that's not even, that's not any kind of tutorial. It's really just, hey, check this out. This is an option. You can do something kind of funky that makes the game more fun to play.